Hi, welcome to Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. I'm so excited that you're here. If this is your first time, welcome. And all of my subscribers, you guys are the best. Let's get crafting. For this DIY, we're gonna take one of those little mason jar signs from the Dollar Tree and wait till you see all the things I try to do to get this thing off. Oh my gosh, so I put some heat on it, I use a putty knife, I start scraping at it with a blade. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm serious, this thing was crazy. Finally, after I got off the felt, I just sanded it. I just sanded the whole thing down and that took care of it. Well, this left a lot of the sanding dust, so I used my little ladybug vacuum. I'll put the link in the description box. And I went ahead and cleaned it up, and then I put some heat on the labels and got rid of those. Now I'm going to mix some of the plaster Waverly chalk paint along with a little bit of the red, I think it's acrylic paint actually, and come up with this pink, which I really love. I do love the softer colors. And then I'm going to touch up all the places where I went over the edge with the plaster around the edges of the, because I tend to make a real mess when I paint, and I don't want to pretend like I don't. And now I'm going to whitewash over the top with a little bit of the plaster just to give it kind of that fun farmhouse look. Now I'm going to take some nautical rope and I'm going to wrap it around the top of what would be the mouth of the mason jar and just hot glue that right on there. Now I'm going to use some of these window clings from the Dollar Tree. They were so cute. And I'm just gonna cut out some of the hearts. Now I had already used one of the hearts, but I liked the idea of cutting out the shape behind it, which was white. Three of them are gonna be window clings, and one is just a little piece of cardboard. And you'll see that I kind of struggle with getting it to lay down once I attach it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get my Mod Podge out and I'm going to attach them. And as I mentioned before, the white one, which is just cardboard, it's not a window cling, it's gonna kinda of lift up on one of the edges and it's gonna take a little doing to get that thing to stay. The other ones were easy, oh my gosh. Lay down the Mod Podge, put down the hearts and put the Mod Podge over the top and they were great. The white one, you see that when you're facing it, the left little curve sticking straight up. So I ended up having to push it down with my fingers, keep putting Mod Podge underneath, over the top, but Eventually, it does stick. You know, I show the stuff that doesn't go well because I just want everyone to know that crafting doesn't always turn out perfect and sometimes things are more difficult. So I just want to be real about it and show you as much as possible. I have some wooden beads that I ordered off of Amazon. They sell beads at Dollar Tree and Walmart as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint them pink and then kind of like an off-white kind of pinkish off-white and I'm going to put them on some jute twine and wrap them around where you would put the lid on the jar kind of where the little grooves are and I thought that would be a really cute little embellishment and add to that whole farmhouse look. When I paint beads, I like to put them on a skewer and I put something at the end, like I have a piece of tape wrapped there so they won't fall off the bottom. And it's so much easier to paint them on the skewer. My fingers don't get really dirty and I can get in between the grooves with a little brush. This is a soft bristle brush, so it's really getting right in between there. And I just leave them on there to dry. Sometimes I stick them in a piece of foam or whatever. And now I'm just gonna paint the back with that leftover kind of whitish pink because I don't wanna leave it unfinished and I just wanna make it look really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and string the beads, like I mentioned, and make that little kind of garland to go around the top. I have these little wooden hearts that I got from Dollar Tree. They have little stickers on the back. And I'm using this awesome tool called a crop -a dial Heidi Sambel shared about it, and that's how I learned about it. I got it off Amazon. I will definitely link it below. Man, that thing can cut through metal and wood so easily. Anyway, I put those holes in. That way I can add them to this garland when I string it around the top of the little wooden mason jar. And I'm just hot gluing the back of the twine to the mason jar so that it will stay in place. And I'm kind of figuring out how I want to place it and how I'm going to kind of make it look at the end and I'm tying the ends of the twine off to one side and now I'm going to string those hearts right through and I actually decide to turn the little plain wooden one around the opposite direction and so now I'm going to have to take off the little sticker and I'm going to paint it white. 
You guys, this little piece of Valentine decor turned out so cute. You could put it on a three-tier tray or just anywhere in your house. It would look great no matter what you did with it. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Annalie from Annalie Ashby DIY. She does so many cool farmhouse type of DIYs. She builds things. She uses power tools. This is one impressive woman, let me tell you. Annalie's channel link will be down in my description box along with the video that she's doing for this collaboration. You won't want to miss it and definitely tell her that Lisa Marie said hi. I'd love for you to join me on my channel by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so you'll always know when I have a new video. I do all kinds of DIYs, gardening in the summer. If you enjoy my video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. That helps my channel so much and I do appreciate it. For this DIY, I'm using this Dollar Tree sign. It's actually really cute as it is, but I want to do something else with it. So I sanded off the glitter and I'm going to hot glue some craft paper to the back so it looks nice and finished. I'll go ahead and trim that piece off. And then if you notice up in the right corner there, I've got a little truck with the hearts in it for Valentine's. My husband loves those trucks, so I'm gonna make him a little sign for his office area. And I'm gonna hot glue to fill in those holes and then sand it. Just a quick, fast way. I could have used some wood putty or spackle, but I had the hot glue gun ready to go. And I have this really cool Scottish themed um, scrap of paper that I got a while back. And he is part Scottish as am I, and we both love all the different plaids. So I'm going to use this one and I don't know which clan it represents but we just like the colors and I'm going to cut it out to match the sign and then I'm just going to use this thermobond glue I think it's called and it's just as good as Mod Podge. I don't put it over the top when I'm done. I just go ahead and use it to adhere something very thick and the stuff will stay forever. So I'm going to stick that right on there. I'm going to get my brayer out which is just a little roller with a handle and just make sure to get out any bubbles and make sure that every part of the scrap of paper makes contact contact with the sign. I have that window cling, the little truck that I showed you before, and I'm gonna go ahead and sand off all those sparkles because it is going in my husband's office area. And after I get all of those sparkles sanded off, I'm actually gonna go over it with some paint and I'm gonna put some red back on, but I'm also gonna add some other colors and darken the black and the hearts just to give it a little more definition. I'm going to be using my Arteza paint markers for some of this because it's just got that nice point on the end and the colors go on so well and it's so much easier to use than a paintbrush. So that is what I'm going to do with some of these colors. Now since this is just a fun Valentine's kind of a thing, I'm not going to distress this or make it look very old. I'm going to use the uh, silver colored paint marker from Arteza and I'm just going to add chrome to the wheels um, around the parts of the car and in the windows. So I'm again, I'm making this just fun. And now that I'm finished with the painting of the truck, I'm going to attach it to the front of the sign and I am going to use Mod Podge for this. So I'm going to place it and then I'm going to lift up one half, put down the Mod Podge and then lay down the cling and then go to the other half and do the same and then I am going to put Mod Podge all over the top.
Remember when I filled those holes in with hot glue? Well, I wasn't really thinking at the time about the hanger. <laughs> so I ended up using my crocodile and making two new holes. And then I've got some nautical rope and I'm going to pull the rope through, tie the knot in the front for both of the holes and then trim off the excess rope. And there you go, that is my hanger. You know, my husband is loving this sign. I'm so glad that he loves it. I think it's adorable. I'd love to hear what you think. I hope you guys like it. I just wanted to let everyone know that I am on social media. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Same name, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie, and I hope to see you over there. For this DIY, I'm going to be using this kind of like plastic clear Dollar Tree sign. And it's got some words on it, and I have always heard that you can take it off with nail polish remover or alcohol, or it would just come right off with a blade. Well, I tried all of those things, and not one of them worked on this one, so I ended up sanding it. That did get it off, but now I have a really weird texture to work with. I'm using these little um, kind of half bead stickers. They're little adhesive stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna put them along the inside kind of to frame what I'm gonna put in the middle. And then I'm gonna place a bicycle cling. You see that up in the left-hand corner there. That's one of the options from that cling on there along with a heart. And I'm gonna add some glitter. So I'm just gonna stop talking and let you watch. I found this adorable ribbon for Valentine's at Dollar Tree, so I'm going to put it all the way around the outside of this little sign. I think it's super cute, and it just adds a little extra Valentine touch, and I'm using hot glue to attach it. I'm gonna take that ribbon and a few other pattern ribbons that I got at Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna cut them into little strips, and then I'm gonna cut those strips in half the long ways, and I'm gonna make a messy bow. So when they're all cut, I'm gonna just crisscross them all across the front of each other, and I'm gonna get a little Chanel pipe cleaner, and I'm going to tie them all together. I'm gonna add one little piece around the center so it covers the pipe cleaner. I will then hot glue them to the upper left corner of the sign, and then kind of fluff my bow, and you'll see as I go. So this one didn't turn out exactly how it originally planned, but I actually think it's super cute and a lot of fun. You have to let me know what you think. I really hope you guys like it. And here is one last look at all three DIYs. Don't forget to go see Annalise's video. Her link will be down in the description box. And if you're coming over from the Annalise channel, thank you so much. You are so welcome here and I'm glad to meet you. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and being here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and definitely give this video a like. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Until then, you are a blessing.